Jet 24 Sports with Mike Fenner. Welcome on It's time for sports with General McLean's historic girls soccer run results in a state championship win. We would find out Saturday morning with the Lady Lancers taking on unbeaten Central Columbia. Lancers and Blue Jays in the PIAA Girls 2A Girls Soccer State Championship in Mechanicsburg. General McLean taking on that undefeated Central Columbia team for the championship. Already up 1-0 in the first half. Kayla Kiefer adding to it for the Blue Jays. One touch and the strike to the left corner. Central Columbia leading 2-0 at the half. Brooklyn Respecki gave the Lancers some hope in the second half with a blast past the keeper to put General McLean on the scoreboard. But Kiefer and the Blue Jays were just too much. She picks up her second of, uh, off the free kick here. The junior had a hat trick for Central Columbia as General McLean falls in the state title game. 4-1. The final. Maplewood Girls Volleyball representing Crawford County taking on West Branch in the PIAA Class A State Championship. Warriors buckling down on defense early. Maplewood setting up right in the middle, but West Branch returned to center there. Tigers, however, learned their lesson. Same set up, and Megan Woj fires past the blockers, pinging the back line there. West Branch on their heels. Katrina Crowder muscles the spike through for a kill, but Maplewood was too strong. Sadie Thomas unstoppable on the outside today. Tigers win state behind a sweep of previously unbeaten West Branch. The Tigers take home their first state title since 2017. Women's College Volleyball NCAA Atlantic Regional semifinal host and top seed Gannon against Charleston. First set Maddie Blake with a kill to give Gannon the early edge here. Lady Knights come up with another point in the opening set on the block. Send it right back there and then more from the home team trying to get to that Atlantic Regional Final. Sam Dynak with the kill later. Gannon taking the first set 25-19. This one goes the full five and the Lady Knights are moving on. Gannon wins the fifth set 15-9 and that sets up a rematch of the PSAC Women's Volleyball Championship from last Sunday to tomorrow. Sunday, 5 p.m. start between Clarion and Gannon, this time for the NCAA Atlantic Regional Final. Shifting gears to the Gridiron District 10 Class A Football Championship. Unbeaten Eisenhower versus one loss Reynolds at Carter Field in Titusville. No score early second quarter. Knights score first. Tucker Lindell up the middle for the Eisenhower touchdown run of 13 yards, 7 0 Knights. 7 6 later in the quarter. Knights add to the lead. Benji Bauer gets loose. And here he goes down the left sideline as the Knights add to the lead. Bauer for the 65 yard touchdown, 14 6, Ike. We were tied at 14 at the half. In the fourth, Jalen Wagner gives the Raiders a lead they wouldn't relinquish. She goes 56 yards to Pater, makes it 22 14 rounds after a two point try. Raider, uh, Raiders would ride a 97-yard drive late and had a flea flicker TD pass to win it 28-14. Reynolds wins its third straight D10 title while the Knights fall for the first time all year. I've known most of these guys since they were born. It's, it's, it's my oldest son's class. and um, I mean, I couldn't, I couldn't be more proud of a group of guys who really developed a family atmosphere on a team. We proved today that we were all of what we thought we were. Junior, number eight. Meanwhile, at Bald Eagle and PIAA Class 4A first round action, Meadville tops Juniata 27-14 to move into the 4A quarterfinals next week against Allentown Central Catholic. All right, college football to the Big Ten. Number 11, Penn State in Piscataway taking on Rutgers. Penn State among the many college teams honoring Virginia with a sticker on the helmet after uh, three Virginia players were killed last week. Sloppy start, Penn State down 10-7 in the first. Completed pass to the flats with Marquise Wilson. And Dom DeLuca pop it free. Kobe King defensive touchdown. First scoop and score for Penn State since 2016. 14-10 at that point. Penn State forced three turnovers in this one. Offense gets it going. Sean Clifford caps a six-play, 65-yard scoring drive with a touchdown run. 28-10 at the half. And it's Penn State scoring 48 unanswered to win 55-10. Rolling Rutgers on the road. Axer Stadium, Pitt hosting Duke. ACC action, second quarter. Panthers down a point. Keaton Slovis finds Jared Wayne. 15-yard touchdown pass. Pittsburgh up 20-14. to Same score in the fourth. Jordan Waters takes the handoff and fumbles. Brandon Hill scoop and score 30 yards. For the Panther touchdown, 28-14 to after the two-point conversion. It got a little scary late for Pitt, but they hang on to win by two. 28-26 at home against the Blue Doubles. The Junker Center College Hoops. Fairview grad Matt Island and Barron Ben's basketball home for Juniata. Juniata striking first. Gabe Goodinger connects on the three out of the right corner to give the visitors the lead. Lions answer. Stefan Malinkovich with the show and go, finishing the paint. And then he finds 
The paint and scores again here on the assist from Tommy Lorenzo for the finish. He had 12 points. Barron, though, comes up on the short end of a two-point loss, 67-65 at home. Barron women get a win by 14 at home as well. Out of time. Thank you. And we'll be right back.